Lot, Hebrew, Lawo modern, Lot, Tiberian, Lot, Lut Arabic, veil, or covering, was a patriarch in the biblical book of Genesis chapters 11 to 14 and 19. Notable events in his life include his journey with his uncle Abram Abraham and his flight from the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah, during which Lot's wife became a pillar of salt, and Lot had sexual relations with his daughters so that they could bear children. Biblical account Topic. Topic. Lot's background Topic. Lot and his father Haran were born and raised in Ur of the Chaldees Genesis chapter 11 verses 28, 31 in the region of Samaria on the river Euphrates of Lower Mesopotamia. Haran died in that land before his father Terah. Genesis chapter 11 verse 28. Genesis chapter 11 verses 26 to 32 gives the generations of Terah, Lot's grandfather, who arranged for their large family to set a course for Canaan where they could re-establish a new home. Among the family members that Lot traveled with was his uncle Abram, later called Abraham, one of the three patriarchs of Israel. En route to Canaan, the family stopped in the Paddan Aram region, about halfway along the fertile crescent between Mesopotamia and the Mediterranean. They settled at the site called Haran where Lot's grandfather, Terah, lived the rest of his days. He was 205 years old when he died. Genesis chapter 11 verse 32 Genesis chapter 12 reveals Abram's obedience to the Lord at the age of 75, in continuing his journey to the land of promise. Though Abram S. Father, Terah, stayed behind, his nephew Lot went with him, v. 1-4 There is no mention of Lot's having a wife yet. They went southwestward into the land of Canaan, to the place of Sichem, v. 5-6 The present-day west bank of Nablus. Later they traveled south to the hills between Bethel and Hai, v. 8 before journeying further toward the south of Canaan, v. 9 After they dwelt in the land of Canaan for a little while, a famine overtook the countryside, and they journeyed many miles farther south into Egypt, v. 10-20 After having dwelt in Egypt for some time, they acquired vast amounts of wealth and numbers of livestock and returned to the Bethel area, Gen. 13-1-5 Lot in the Plain of Jordan Topic. Genesis chapter 13 helps and discusses Abram and Lot's return to Canaan after the famine had passed and the lands became fertile again. They traveled back through the Negev to the hills of Bethel, v. 1, 3. With their constant movement and the sizable numbers of livestock each family owned requiring pasture, the herdsmen of the two groups began to bicker, v. 6-7. These arguments became so troublesome that Abram suggested to Lot that they part ways, lest conflict continue among the brethren, v. 8-9. Although Abram gave Lot the choice of going either north the left hand or south the right hand, Lot instead looked beyond Jordan toward a well-irrigated plain and chose that land, for it seemed like the garden of the Lord. Alas, ahead Lot could not foresee the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah and the transformation of the water into a saline sea. Genesis chapter 13 verses 9 to 11. Abram then headed south to Hebron, staying within the land of Canaan. Genesis chapter 13 verses 12, 18. Lot camped among the cities of the Green Jordan plain and initially pitched his tent facing Sodom. Eight or so years before, the five kingdoms had become vassal states of an alliance of four eastern kingdoms under the leadership of Chedorlaomer, king of Elam. They served this king for twelve years, but the thirteenth year they rebelled. Genesis chapter 14 verses 1 to 4. The following year Chedorlaomer's four armies returned and at the battle of the Vale of Siddim, the kings of Sodom and Gomorrah fell in defeat. V. 5 to 10. Chedorlaomer despoiled the cities and took captives as he departed, including Lot, who by then dwelt in Sodom. V. 11 to 12. When Abram heard what had happened to his brother. Lot, he armed a rescue force of 318 of his trained servants and caught up to the armies of the four kings in the territory of the tribe of Dan, v. 13-14. Abram divided his forces, which attacked at night from multiple directions, and the four kings fled northeast. Abram's pursuit continued in the slaughter of Chedorlaomer, and the other kings was completed at Hobah, north of Damascus. Abram brought back his brother Lot and all the people and their belongings, v. 15-24. Lot flees Sodom. 
24 years after Abram and Lot began their sojourning, God changed Abram's name to Abraham, and gave him the covenant of circumcision, Genesis chapter 17. Not long afterward, the Lord appeared to Abraham in the form of three men, come to visit and have a meal with him, and after two left to go to Sodom. Abraham stood yet before the Lord. Gen. 18-1-22 Abraham boldly pleaded on behalf of the people of Sodom, where Lot dwelt, and obtained assurance the city would not be destroyed if fifty righteous people were found there. He continued inquiring, reducing the minimum number for sparing the city to 45, 40, 30, 20, and finally, 10, 18-23-33, after supper that night before bedtime, the men of the city, young and old, gathered around Lot's house demanding he bring his two guests out that they might know them. Lot went out and closed the door behind him and prayed that they not do such wicked things, and offered them his virgin daughters, that had not known man, that they might know them instead, and do with as they pleased. His response infuriated the men of Sodom who accused him of being judgmental and they threatened to do worse to him than they would have done to the men. Gen. 19-4-9 Before they could harm Lot and break into the house, the men pulled Lot back in and struck the intruders with blindness, and revealed to Lot that they were angels sent to destroy the place. This allowed a window of opportunity for Lot to make preparations for him and his family to leave. When he went out to the men that were engaged to marry his daughters, warning them to flee, they assumed he was joking. Gen. 1910-14 As the day began to dawn, the angels urged him to hurry up and leave. When he lingered, the angels took hold of Lot, his wife and two daughters, and transported them beyond the city and set them down. The angel told Lot, Escape for thy life, look not behind thee, neither stay thou in all the plain, escape to the mountain, lest thou be consumed. Gen. 1915-17 Lot argued that if he went to the mountain some evil would cause his death, and he requested to be allowed to flee instead to the little city which was closer. This city of Bela was later called Zor because it was little, his request was accepted, and they headed for Zor instead. Gen. 1918-22 Abraham could see the smoke billowing upward from the countryside, v. 27-28 Instead of both fire and brimstone, Josephus has only lightning as the cause of the fire that destroyed Sodom. God then cast a thunderbolt upon the city, and set it on fire, with its inhabitants, and laid waste the country with the like burning, as I formerly said when I wrote the Jewish War. <laughs> Lot and his daughters the account of Lot and his daughters is in Genesis chapter 19 verses 30 to 38. The older daughter conceived Moab Hebrew Moab, lit. From the father. Me Avenue, father of the Moabites, v. 37. The younger conceived Ben Ami Hebrew Ben Ami, lit. Son of my people. Father of the Ammonites, v. 38. The story, usually called Lot and his daughters, has been the subject of many paintings over the centuries, and became one of the subjects in the Power of Women group of subjects, warning men against the dangers of succumbing to the temptations of women, while also providing an opportunity for an erotic depiction. The scene generally shows Lot and his daughters eating and drinking in their mountain refuge. Often the background contains a small figure of Lot's wife, and in the distance, a burning city. Topic. Family tree Topic. Topic. Religious views Topic. Topic. Jewish view Topic. In the Bereshith of the Torah, Lot is first mentioned at the end of the weekly reading portion, Parashat Noach. The weekly reading portions that follow, concerning all of the accounts of Lot's life, are read in the Parashat Lekh Leka and Parashat Veera. In the Midrash, a number of additional stories concerning Lot are present, not found in the Tanakh, as follows. Abraham took care of Lot after Haran was burned in a gigantic fire in which Nimrod, king of Babylon, tried to kill Abraham. While in Egypt, the Midrash gives Lot much credit because, despite his desire for wealth, he did not inform Pharaoh of Sarah's secret, that she was Abraham's wife. Christian view 
In the Christian New Testament, Lot is considered sympathetically, as a man who regretted his choice to live in Sodom, where he "...vexed his righteous soul from day to day." 2 Peter 2 verses 6–9. Jesus spoke of future judgment coming suddenly as in the days of Lot, and warned solemnly, "...remember Lot's wife." Luke chapter 17 verses 28–33. Topic. Islamic view Topic. Lut Arabic, Lao in the Quran is considered to be the same as Lot in the Hebrew Bible. He is considered to be a messenger of God and a prophet of God. In Islamic tradition, Lot lived in Ur and was a nephew of Ibrahim. Abraham. He migrated with Ibrahim to Canaan and was commissioned as a prophet to the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah. His story is used as a reference by some Muslims to demonstrate Islam disapproval of homosexuality. He was commanded by Allah to go to the land of Sodom and Gomorrah to preach monotheism and to stop them from their lustful and violent acts. Lut's messages were ignored by the inhabitants, prompting Sodom and Gomorrah's destruction. Though Lut left the city, his wife was asked to be left behind by angels hence died during the destruction. The Quran defines Lot as a prophet, and holds that all prophets were examples of moral and spiritual rectitude. The Quran does not include stories of Lot's drunkenness and or incest. <inaudible> Modern views The presumptive incest between Lot and his daughters has raised many questions, debates, and theories as to what the real motives were, who really was at fault, and the level of bias the author of Genesis chapter 19 had. However, such biblical scholars as Jacob Milgram, Victor P. Hamilton, and Callum Carmichael postulate that the Levitical laws could not have been developed the way they were, without controversial issues surrounding the patriarchs of Israel, especially regarding incest. Carmichael even attributes the entire formulation of the Levitical laws to the lives of the founding fathers of the nation, including the righteous Lot together with Abraham, Jacob, Judah, Moses, and David, who were outstanding figures in Israelite tradition. According to the scholars mentioned above, the patriarchs of Israel are the key to understanding how the priestly laws concerning incest developed. Kinship marriages amongst the patriarchs includes Abraham's marriage to his half-sister Sarai, Gen. 2011-12, the marriage of Abraham's brother, Nahor, to their niece Milka, Gen. 1127-29, Isaac's marriage to Rebekah, his first cousin once removed, Gen. 27 to 42 minus 43, 29 to 10. Jacob's marriages with two sisters who are his first cousins. Gen. 29 to 10. Ch. 29. And in the instance of Moses's parents, a marriage between nephew and aunt, father's sister. Exod. 6:20. Therefore, the patriarchal marriages surely mattered to lawgivers, and they suggest a narrative basis for the laws of Leviticus, chapters 18 and 20. The Levitical laws against incest were created. It has been argued to separate the lifestyle of the Israelite from the lifestyle of the people of Canaan, Gen. 9:22–28. Despite any ancestral involvements the patriarchs had had in the past, the Levitical laws were needed for a developing nation who needed to be seen as different from the world, cleansed and blameless. The first step, starting with circumcision, Gen. 17:1, 10, Ch.17, so nothing could be held against the patriarchs for incestuous behavior because this was part of progressive development from the ways of the world, coming out of Chaldea to becoming blameless before their God. Gen. 17:1. Some have argued that Lot's behavior in offering of his daughters to the men of Sodom in Genesis chapter 19, verse 8 constitutes sexual abuse of his daughters, which created a confusion of kinship roles that was ultimately played out through the incestuous acts in Genesis chapter 19 verses 30-38. A number of commentators describe the actions of Lot's daughters as rape. Esther Fuchs suggests that the text presents Lot's daughters as the initiators and perpetrators of the incestuous rape. Topic see also topic Bani Naim Biblical Narratives and the Quran Lekh Lake of Veyra Basis and Philemon topic References topic, topic Bibliography topic Kalmay, Augustine Kalmay's Dictionary of the Holy Bible. Boston, Crocker and Brewster. p. 737. LCCBS 440, C3. Retrieved July 9, 2012. Topic external links Topic Our People, A History of the Jews, Abram and Lot at Chabad.org Beach, Chandler B., ed., 1914. Lot. The New Students Reference Work. 
Chicago, F. E. Compton & Co. Lot. Easton's Bible Dictionary, 1897.